Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. In today's session, we will learn a very important topic that is handling errors and exceptions in Java programming language. You know very well, during development of a program, the developer faces different types of you know, errors and exceptions. And to manage these errors and exceptions sometimes is very difficult, sometimes is easy. But you must know about it, what is the error and how to manage it. So let us understand with the help of an example. So here in this example, we are trying to display a message that is learning exceptions. But here the compiler is complaining or compiler is showing some errors. So what is the error here? Let's see. It is showing a string literals is not properly closed by double quotes. You can see insert missing code. So this is an error. And if you will just add a double quote, so your error will be removed and now the compiler will not complete. So you, here you can see still the programmer has not, you know, execute this program and the compiler is showing error. So that type of error is known as the compile time error. So compile time errors are those errors which are detected and corrected by the compiler before the JVM executes the program. If you will just remove this semicolon from this program, so compiler will complain again. And you can see the compiler will show the errors, means this is a syntax error. You have to insert the semicolon to complete block statement. So all types of errors which are detected by the compilers are known as the compile time errors. Now your program will be successfully executed and you will get the output here. Here we go, you can see learning exceptions. So now it is very fine, but some, times in the program the user will not be able to detect the errors let me show you the example for example you are just displaying int result is equal 10 divide 0 right so or if you will just display the value of a variable result inside it let me just display so result is result here you can see so here the compiler is not complaining for anything, but whenever you will run this program, you will get some weird output, means you will not get the expected output that you want here. It is showing something like exception in thread main java.lang.arithmetic exceptions divide by zero. So what is it? You can see this is error. This error is not detected during the compilation phase this error is detected during the execution of the programs and you you are not getting the expected output so that kind of errors are known as the runtime errors so runtime errors occurs during the execution of the programs and will be detected by the java virtual machines and that can just immediately terminate your programs so we have to deal such kind of situations also, right? So this is known as the runtime errors. Let me just take one more example of it. For example, I will create an array of integer like numbers is equal and I will assign some values inside it, right? I will assign some values inside it. For example, one comma two comma three, right? And you are just displaying a specific value like I will just display here the name of the array here and I will just pass the value 3, right? So let me just make this line as comment. Okay, so let me just run it and you will see what is the output of it. So here you can see again the program is not behaving normally, right? It is showing something different exception in thread main java.lang.array index out of bound exception. And it is showing index 3 is out of bound. What is the meaning of it? You can see your array index always start from 0. So in this we have total 3 elements. And your index will be like 0 for 1. This is index 1. And this value is present at index 2. And you are trying to access the value that is not exist means the index 3 is not exist sometimes you will just pass some 
illegal index but here the compiler is not complaining for anything but whenever you will just save your program and you will just run your program you will see you will get exception again and it will show the index minus one out of bound for length so it is showing something different weird output you are getting here so these types of errors are known as the except these these types of error are known as the runtime errors right so how to deal with with these runtime errors and what is it so to deal with these types of runtime errors you have to understand the concepts of exceptions so what is an exception exception is an unnatural or abnormal condition raised during program execution due to the wrong logic or due to the lack of resource inside the program or that can abruptly stop the flow of the execution of the programs and in a simple terms you can say an exception is an unnatural condition that arises in the code due to the runtime errors so these runtime errors are nothing but these are known as the exceptions and you have to handle and you have to manage these types of exceptions in the programs otherwise you will not get the correct output at the correct times so here you can see in this program you are trying to get the value from that index that is not exist so it will show the exception here in the similar way we have different types of exceptions let me just show you what are the different types of exceptions so this is about the common runtime this is about the common compile time errors you can see like missing semicolon improper casting mismatch bracket and these are the list of common compile time errors let us move to the that runtime errors so runtime errors are like dividing an integer by zero that i have already shown you the second may be accessing an array element with an illegal index like in the previous example we have written the index minus 1 that is not allowed the third accessing an out of bound element in an array so that is the value you are trying to access that is not exist next type of runtime error may be attempted to use a negative size of an array null pointer access you can see next maybe passing an illegal or inappropriate argument so we have you know multiple types of runtime errors in a java programming language so these runtime errors are nothing but are known as exceptions in java right so here i have provided the examples of it you can just visit this url to understand the concept of it this is the url of it guys okay so what is exceptions you can see it is an unnatural condition that arises in the code at runtime except as at the runtime of a program so here we have common types of exceptions like arithmetic exceptions whenever you will divide a number by 0 you can have a null pointer exceptions it occurs when an application attempt to use a null value where an object is required so here value of text is null and you are trying to get the length of it so it will show the null pointer exceptions next array index out of bound exceptions means the value that you are trying to access is not exist next is the class cast exceptions right you have declared some integer value that is zero in the object of x and you are trying to just cast into the strings that will not be automatically casted so it will throw an exception that is a class cast exception next it may be index out of bound exception then it may be a illegal argument exceptions it may be a illegal state exception right or it may be a no such element exceptions it may be a number format exception it means you are trying to convert a string value into an integer so that will so the exception also so these are the different types of exceptions that can present in java programming language so it is very mandatory to deal these type of exceptions and to manage otherwise your application may crash and your application may be terminate automatically and your program will not behave as per your expectations let me show you with the help of one more statement if you will see here this is a value abc 
and you are trying to convert this value into the integer. So it will show some exceptions. Let us just run it and you will save it. You can see what will be the exceptions here, right? So here, what are you doing? You are trying to convert this ABC, that is a string value to an integer using a parsing method. So it will show the number format exceptions for the input string ABC. So you can't do like that, okay? So it is a very important mandatory to handle and manage these type of exceptions. So that can be the concept of exception handling mechanism where you will use the different keywords like try, catch, throw, throws, and finally. So in the next session, guys, you will learn how to handle and how to manage the different type of exceptions in Java programming language. So this is all about for today's session. In the next session, you will learn how to manage these errors and how to handle these type of exceptions in Java programming language. I hope you understand the concept of exceptions and the runtime errors. In the next class, we will come up with a new concept, how to manage exceptions. Bye-bye for now. Have a good day.